Okay, Iconic Crew, we have a very tough Sweats It Out Sunday for you guys today. Um, myself and the crew just hit this one, um, and I definitely have some advice for you guys on what to do and what not to do. So let's take a look at what we've got today. Um, we are doing a three-part workout. The first part is 15, 10, 5 repetitions of Devil's Press, Chest to Bar, and single arm overhead lunges, double the number of reps. In other words, 15 on one arm and 15 on the other. You follow each round with 50 double unders. That includes the round of five. So you'll do 15 devil's press, 15 chest to bar, 15 over overhead lunges with your right arm, 15 overhead lunges with your left arm, then five zero, 50 double unders, then 10 of everything, Fifty double unders, five of everything, and fifty double unders. Following that, you are going to get a five-minute rest. Then you're going to do a two K row. When you finish that piece, you're going to get a five-minute rest, and we are going to finish up with death by a jumps. The death by a jumps means we start on minute one. You will do six a jumps. You'll add two A jumps every minute on the minute until you do not make the number of repetitions uh, in 60 seconds. Okay, so we've got a lot to do there. Let's talk about what our scales are. Um, first, for the doubles press and the overhead lunges, you can just go lighter um, with the dumbbell or if your back is hurt like several people in the gym and the dumbbells are uncomfortable for the doubles press, go ahead and do burpee box overs. Okay, for your chest to bar, we have a different range of scales. If you can, you'll do pull-ups. The next potential scale is jumping chest to bar. The next potential scale is jumping pull-ups. And if none of those are gonna work, then you'll do ring rows. For the row, we're gonna try to get you to 2K no matter what, but we're giving you a 10 minute cutoff. So you might just not row as far. And finally, for your A jumps, if you can't jump, you'll go ahead and step up and step down, but still try to squat all the way and touch your butt to the box. Our emphasis in three parts for part one we're just working on unilateral strength. That's the great part about those dumbbells. So instead of bilateral work like we do most of the time with squats or anything that has a barbell, we're doing one dumbbell per arm at a time. Then, because the chest and bar are difficult, it's high skill gymnastics while you're fatigued. And finally, doing double unders when you're fatigued is very different than when you're fresh. So th those are all your points of emphasis on the first workout. On the second workout, your 2K row, you're just trying to set a benchmark so you know where you are with two kilometers and hopefully as you get fitter, you can improve. Finally, the emphasis on number three, you're just gonna finish it, mental strength. Okay, so what strategy do I recommend on these? Um, on your first workout, stay, you have two options on the devil's press as always. Either stay steady and just try and keep moving. You might see Marnus do that. Otherwise, I recommend you pick a number, let's say out of the 15, you're gonna do five, and do them as fast as you can, then rest. I believe both Rianne and I tried that strategy out. For your chest to bar, um, I'll recommend, uh, it is very slippery. Uh, the humidity is high, so it's hard to hold on. I was actually slipping by around the second rep. So pick smaller repetitions, or if you try to do butterfly kip and find it slippery, I found that a regular kip, I was able to do a little bit bigger set. Then, when, once you pick up the dumbbell on your overhead lunges, try to do all the reps in a row on one side before you put it down. All the reps on the other side, then you can put it down again. On the double unders, you're kind of testing yourself, so try to do the biggest sets you possibly can. There's a good chance to practice doing these while you're tired. By the way, and then once you get to the round of five, go as hard as you possibly can. It is not that many reps of each movement. For workout number two, your 2K row, try to stay slow and steady. Go about 80 to 85% effort and just hold on. You want to keep your stroke rate below 28. For some of you stronger pulling men, you might even be below 25. Finally, the third workout for everybody who did well on that one, you're just going to go quick. You're going to do those reps that you have to do them in as fast as you can to give yourself the longest reps, uh, longest rest possible. I know I started breaking mine up once I was around 16 or 18 reps. Um, I did not find that made it any easier. So guys, that was our effort today. Um, it was pretty, pretty tough. So I wish you luck on this one. Here are your scores that you'll check out for everybody. Let's see if you can beat them. You guys have been recently. Good luck.